Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Adams Wright number 4453. Uh, this is a pull handle for their 4430, 4431 series of sliding door locks. So the 4453, uh, the 02 and the 335 and the IB, those part numbers are always going to hang there. They... Um, they don't change. Uh, the part number uh, is 4453-02-335. But it would be a uh, 335 is the finish. That means it's the black anodized finish over this aluminum. This is what the pull looks like, by the way. Um, the 02 is generally a reference to uh, an a option. Uh, I'm not sure why they selected 02 on this. I don't know how they've dissected the part number. Uh, but there is no 01 or 03. Um, and in terms of the 335, there are no other finishes. The aluminum portion is available only in black. Um, and that would make sense because almost always the 4430, 4431 trim is black. Um, it can be special ordered in white, but this handle, will, this aluminum portion will always be will always be black anodized aluminum. Uh, this is uh, obviously wood infused in this handle. Um, you know, I don't know for sure what type of wood. I would think it's probably some species of mahogany, some sort of, you know, uh, obviously, uh, you know, non-endangered species of mahogany uh, is what it looks like just from the grain structure. Um, I'm going to ask the factory someday if they know what this is. I, I can't detect what it is. It's not it's hard it's hard for me to say I will ask them what this is it it appears to be it appears to be an open celled type of no it might be close cell the way that the end of the grain appears anyway I will if I'm able to obtain an update from the factory and find out positively what that is I will update the extended description of this item but this is what the pole looks like and you basically mount this over the interior push uh, pardon me you mount this over the interior sliding door trim let's take some dimensional properties overall length of the handle of the wooden portion I should say is about seven and three quarter its overall projection from the face of the pole hand of the face of the trim is going to be about two inch and they say the centers they have listed there at basically six and a quarter and that, while it's nice to know what the dimension of the center of the screw holes is, um, you're mounting it over the plate, which I happen to have one here, so I can demonstrate what this is going to look like. This is the interior of your door, okay? And this is literally going to go right... here. It's going to line up with your holes. These, these uh, re uh, return features are going to basically just rest inside of the preparation. Okay, just like that. It's going to close off your area a little bit of what you have access to in terms of the horizontal height. But it's really, it's a, obviously a simple sort of installation. So that's what it's going to look like. You know, it's a lot nicer to be able to push and pull your door than just having this recessed area to get your hand in. Um, and it's an easy, it's an inexpensive sort of handle to give you perhaps greater control over the doors. You could literally have these sliding doors in a, let's just say a, a condominium facility in the party room. Um, and you you have sliding doors there. And, you know, the door's used often and maybe by people who are, um, you know, mechanically uh, handicapped. You know, they might have uh, a, a handicap and, and having some sort of a handle that would be easier for such a user to be able to, to use the door would be uh, obviously beneficial. Um, there is fasteners included. That's probably what would be properly called binding posts. There are through bolts that will go through the unit itself uh, with these machine screws. Now the reason, and I bet the O2 is a reference to the length of these screws. Um, the reason you have to through bolt these, sex bolt them, or use binding post, binder posts, is because the standard screws that come with a 4430 series, uh, so a 4430 and a 4431, they're the same lock. The only difference is the 4430 does not have a key cylinder on the outside. The, in, the 4431 does. 
Um, you need to have this through bolted because you can put a lot of stress, obviously, on the trim that is screwed together. They've got some, they've got some paint inside of there. If that happens to you, the right thing to do would be to run a tap through that. So anyway, the pull, um, the screws that hold the lock on are just very wide thread, plasti cut type screws, meaning the threads are intended to go into or to thread into plastic. Well, you know, people are inherently, they see it, I, I'm guilty of it, they see a door pull and I pull. No, no, it's just slide. Um, so, you know, be mindful that that's, uh, that those through bolts are there for that purpose. We've got that screw together and they've, they just literally have some paint on the end of the, on the end of the fastener. So that needs to be coaxed in and through. And that is what it'll look like, obviously on the outside end of that. Okay. Um, so not a lot else to say about this. Um, you know, it's just a door pull. They make the, they make the 4413 plastic pull for the 4189 and 4190 series locks. Same principle, but those, the 4189, no key, 4190, key on the outside, those would have, those would feature a zinc die cast trim. So if your plates are metal, you have that series. If your plates are plastic, you have the um, 4430, 4431, or 41, uh, or 40, there's a dummy version of this and I forget the part number. So anyway, this is what this is. You don't sell a lot of these, that's for sure, but occasionally someone asks for them, and here it is. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the not only all of the Adams Wright products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog and there's some parts manual that's there as well. And while they don't have every part for every lock they make in the published format, there are a lot of published documents there. If you have any questions on the 4453 sliding door pull for the 4430 series material or any other Adams Wright product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.